Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here on, you guessed it, another Bagel Sunday. It seems to be a little bit more mild today, meaning it's only 64 degrees right now, not 84. And it's been pretty cloudy all morning. There's a little bit of blue sky, but I don't know what that means. I, I, th I think it's only supposed to be in the, like the mid to upper 60s today, which of course makes for pleasant walking around weather when you're hoofing it in the woods. Pretty thrilled with the Osprey pictures I got yesterday with the whole hand-holding method now. I, I think I definitely shown to myself that that's the best way to do things. So I'm going to continue practicing that. The next step, if I do go to Pleasure House Point today or wherever I go, will be to switch it up and put the lens on the a7 IV and try the bird autofocus. I know I keep talking about that, but pretty much every time I've gone in there in the past, I either haven't seen any birds or I hadn't yet adopted that camera up to the eye method of tracking birds. So I, I'm, you know, I'm pretty stoked to keep trying that and see how, how good of the shots I can get. Definitely, I'm gonna start playing with the autofocus zones and just the different methods uh, that you can use on the cameras to see if I get anything any better. Because a lot of times, the autofocus using it wide, while that's good, or at least it was good before when I was trying to get the bird and I had absolutely no ability or skill whatsoever to get the damn thing in the frame. It would pick it up in the corner and kind of kind of catch it. But now that I'm doing better at that, I think I'm changing it to uh, try to do flexible spot and see what I come up with there. The other thing would be, I watched a person's video last night, and I'm not gonna remember his name, sorry, about the 200 to 600 and the different zones of focusing. One thing he said particularly, he's like, so if you don't want it to focus on the grass that's in front, but a little bit further away, then you pick this particular zone. And I was like, oh, duh, I, like I never even thought about that, I, you know. So here I am, still learning, not knowing how to use my gear and I'm gonna give that a try as well because what did I say yesterday and the day before? It's like, I can't get these snowy egrets because it just keeps focusing on the grass and they're on the other side of the grass. So that might actually make a big difference for me. So I'm gonna give that a whirl. But for now, it is time to get the bagels and I'm pretty stoked because I'm hungry. So let's get them bagels. By the way, this is what we're in store for. Don't know if that's coming through. I can't tell because it's too bright out here. But keep in mind that now the uh, here, see if it's a little bit better. Definitely seeing a lot more pollen this morning. It's all over everything. That is why I take a lot of Sudafed and Flonase. Okay, let's go eat bagels. Pretty flowers. Okay, kids, I am well into my standard Sunday office day. I ate a late lunch, early dinner, which was leftovers from last night's dinner, and then I started on the laundry because I had to do everything. I had to strip the bed, all my clothes, pants, everything, um, just to get a jump on things. So it's, what time is it? It's, it's only quarter to five. So I wanted to start early again so that I'm not working all night because I always think I have all the time in the world and then I end up rushing to get things done. I'm pretty much not behind on anything for day job and I still have no idea if the new hire is coming. So it, it could completely hose my week up, I don't know. We'll see. But for now, I'm just going to finish the laundry, which will take a while, and then I'm gonna do my Salesforce updates and run my reports for the week to get ready and then I might build a proof or two just so that I have them ready to go for sending out tomorrow. I don't like to send anything out anytime after noon on Friday until Monday morning because I pretty much have learned that shit just gets lost. These guys get so many emails that by the time they come back in Monday morning, they're gone. They're never gonna look at it and I'd have to send them again. So I just hold on to that shit until Monday morning and that's fine. Now, the only other thing that I kind of wanted to do today, but didn't take the time to do, is to 
take pictures of this stuff and get it posted. I just, I haven't had time to do it because I was out playing. I went back to Pleasure House Point today and I recorded on the Insta360 with the Rode Wireless Go and I didn't see a thing. I literally, like I saw one turned out to be an Osprey and it was so far away that I got some pictures of it, just enough that I could identify that it was an Osprey, but I didn't get any pictures anywhere else. It was kind of interesting. I was in Pleasure House Point and another photographer had, had pulled up and he got into the park ahead of me. It turned out to be a gentleman that I had spoken to before. And we ended up walking the, the length of the park, just talking about photography and this, that, and the other thing. And I had, mentioned that I had read an article this morning about a, uh, you know, people sending in their, their wildlife pictures to the Virginia pilot, the beacon, and that there was a picture, uh, you know, on the front page that I had noticed and all that kind of stuff. And, and I saw that it was attributed to Pleasure House Point. And he said, uh, oh, was it the, the, yeah, the beacon and the thing? He's, that was my picture. So small world that I ended up running into the guy that actually took the picture and had it submitted as, as the, the lead picture in the article. So that was really neat. While we were talking about that, he encouraged me to send in pictures that I get. And he said, I send those pictures in basically for one reason, and that is to get the public interested. If they see that there's like all these cool birds and, and all this wildlife in the area, when some idiot tries to bulldoze the place and put up a bunch of condos, they'll remember that it was a place that had a lot of you know, animals and nature and all that kind of stuff in a really beautiful place and they'll be outraged and, and they'll help, you know, try to stop that kind of shit from happening. So I thought, okay, why not? So I took a couple of the pictures of that osprey that I got yesterday catching the fish and I submitted them to the beacon. And, and you know, we'll see what happens with that. This week is just kind of on standby for me because I have no idea if this, you know, new hires coming with me. So I don't even want to book a hotel tonight until we have our team call tomorrow morning and I ask. So I'm just going to hold off on that and figure out what's going on tomorrow and just go from there. That's it. That's all I've got for you because I hear my washing machine has stopped. I'm going to go switch out the laundry. Kind of lame, but that's what you get. So that's it. That's all I got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.